we're standing outside the Mac Cosmetics store in Chancery in Auckland, New Zealand. We're going to head in and get some great makeup tips from Amber Dean, one of Mac's senior makeup artists. Let's go find out how to look gorgeous. Come on in. Hi, I'm Amber D from MAC Cosmetics and we're here at the Chancery store today. The reason you would contour the face is not to, you know, go too crazy and look like a sculpture but to really bring out all the high points um, and to bring out the most of your face. We're going to do that, it's nice and easy. We've started off with a base of our amazing mineralized loose foundation. This little guy here, so it gives you a really beautiful base to start with and it looks like skin. So it's, it's fairly simple. What we're going to use is our um, mineralized pressed powder. Um, this shade is called medium dark, so we've gone a couple of shades too dark. Um, so we definitely will want to use this across your whole face, obviously. So we'll just start up by the ear um, and just work really lightly, buffing the product in under the cheekbone. So you're just getting a really soft glow to the skin. And you always want to go right up to the ear so you don't end up with a little white patch up there because that's always gorgeous. We do this a lot for catwalk because it really makes the girls' faces just look amazing. I like to use a little bit just up around the temple so you're really popping out all the high points of the face. So what I might just use is a little bit of our light powder. So the same powder again, the mineralize, um, but in a shade lighter than your skin tone. Um, we're going to go with a slightly smaller brush so we've got a little bit more control over where we're putting the product. So a little bit of this, we're just going to lightly buff over all the high points so we're really banging them out. If you have a weaker jaw, this is a really great trick to do that. Um, so that's just going to make your jaw, your bone pop out a little bit more. A little bit on it. Um, if you have a slightly larger nose as well that you're quite conscious of, you can use a little bit of the darker powder down the sides um, and then the light powder, just lightly dusted down the nose as well. It's just going to sculpt that a little bit. And then one of my favourite tricks is just use a slightly smaller brush again. Um, this is the 227 brush. And just the tiniest little bit just above the bow of the lip. I always do this because it just looks so great. So when you go to do lips, you're going to really pop out those uh, your top lip and look like you've got a bit of gold lips. So now we're going to take your makeup, like this, your day makeup, into a really easy um, nighttime kind of more glamour makeup. Um, bearing in mind that we all are on the run, we might be coming from work or and then running out or maybe doing it in the car or something like that, which we shouldn't be doing. Um, so we've got some really easy tricks for how to do a quick nighttime makeup. Take me from drab to fab. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with um, a MAC paint. These pretty much rule the world. I'm obsessed with them. Um, they're a cream eyeshadow, but they actually dry and don't crease. So you can put them on and go out dancing, have a great night out, and you get home and it'll still be exactly where you put them. Um, amazing. This colour is called Reminisce. So you really just need to use a tiny little bit and wash it over the eyelid. So it'll give us a really beautiful highlight to the eye. So you get a really beautiful wash of colour. It almost looks a little bit wet, which is great, you know. Very nice. Mm, nice for evening. Great for evening. This is our plush lash. Really, the brush has got a really beautiful... Um, you know, fluffy into it, so you get really full luscious. So just a light coating. Now what we're going to do today is really keep the focus on the lips, but obviously, you know, we're going out at night, so we want to be batting our lashes at people when we're out talking to them, I'm sure. So we're going to use some of my favourites. Um, these are the, our number 36 lashes. The trick is um, to make sure that you measure them to your eye before you put them on, because um, quite often the lash will be too long. Um, so, you know, that can make things a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. And when I look in the mirror and do it myself, I just usually look yeah, down yeah, yeah. Um, and place them in and then you've got time. So I think everyone kind of tries to get them on really fast yeah, with the blue yeah. dries, but you have got a bit of time to move them around and get them right. You can just push them as close into the natural lash line as you can. Um, this is Duo Glue. This is a really great um, glue to use to apply your um, lashes. It's a surgical adhesive, so you know that it's not uh, your lash isn't going to kind of drop off onto your face halfway through the night. Um, it's going to stay. You can pretty much stick anything to your face. They start shorter, and then they get longer. 
So they, they're more like a natural, really natural lash, you know, they're not too long the whole way across. Um, you can really trick people into thinking they're your own lash. A tiny little bit of glue along the edge of the lash. And you always want to make sure you've got enough in each um, corner. And the glue dries clear. So you can see where it's going when you put it on, but then it will dry and you won't be able to see it later on. So like I said, you've got time to really make sure that they join in the right places. So the difference is amazing, right? I like that. Yeah. So a really great alternative to putting a dark liner in the inner rim of the eye is to use a white pencil. And if your eyes tend to be a little bit red or you're a bit tired, um, that will just make your eyes appear larger. Good trick. It is a great trick. Do a little bit of blush. Now anything, um, I find anything with a slightly peachy pinky tone will look nice and fresh on the skin. Um, and going into winter, you know, we kind of lose a bit of colour, so we want to feel bright and yummy. Um, this colour is called Spring Sheen, and it's a sheer tone blush, so it's got a little bit of a shine to it, so it's going to look delicious on your skin. Yeah. So we're going to create some um, luscious patty lips. Um, we're going to start off with Brick Pizza, um, which is a great kind of slightly bluey red, um, just so we get a really perfect line. Just following the natural line, and then just blending it in lightly, so we get a really nice even base to work over. Beautiful ready um, orange, but it's glossy. It's a luster, so you get beautiful um, juicy bit. I think it's really important to have fun with your makeup as well because it comes off. So there's kind of no. So to finish this off, we're going to use Mac. Um, it's a real cult fave. This is clear lip gloss. If you don't have one, you need to have one. Every girl needs this. The guys don't like it so much when you kiss them because they'll end up with it all over them. But... So instant glam. Night time. You're ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good colour. Thank you very much.